you just get hit with this. It's crazy. Oh, I am back. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. There'll be more like it. I'm uh, right in a busy road, guys, so I'm trying to keep this brief. Anyway, I'm going to show you a building on the other side of the road, and then I'm going to show you something that might take you a bit by surprise. So, here we go, this is the building. So there you go, that's the wee building there. Curious little place. Very inconspicuous. Very small, doesn't draw much attention. But we're going to go over now and have a closer look. So, so, let's get on with that. There you go guys, a little Masonic Hall, that's pretty neat, just a nice wee front to the building, lovely, but there's more to this little building than meets the eye, so now you've seen the front, I'll take you down the side and give you a little look at that, right, this looks like the way down here, Whew, get away for that Noise the main road. This place is absolutely massive. I mean, from up there in the main road, it just looks like a tiny wee building. And then you come down the side there, where I just came down, and you just get hit with this. It's crazy. So, there's a wee window open here. Let's have a wee look inside. You really feel the weight of this place when you're standing next to it, by the way. Well, at first glance, I don't think it's worth my trouble climbing in through this wee window. <laughs> but you can see there, there's a nice, a nice old fireplace. Very big sandstone lintel on it. I'll have a wee zoom in. That's really cool. That side's bricked in. Oh. That's better. That side's bricked in. And there's no roof on this bit. Another fireplace up there. You see how the the greenery is just spilling over. And coming inside. That is way cool. That's another door through there into the mill itself. So I'm wondering if this was maybe just a... Uh, maybe this, these were like wee apartments or offices at the sides. Who knows? So I will try and find out as much information about this place as I can. And as usual, I'll put a link in the description if you want to look into it a bit further yourself. This is the thing about finding places at random, it's uh, you don't have the opportunity to delve into the research first. But having said that, it's a mill building, so 
what really is there to tell. I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean that, you know, it was a working place, so... A big fancy, big old building over there as well. That looks inhabited though. Maybe just take a wee walk over and see later on. So yeah, I mean, there were places of work, places of industry. So, apart from um, the conditions, working in a place like this, which I'd imagine were very poor, then there's really not much else to, to delve into. It's not like a, it's not like a. Um, an abandoned stately home or that, you know, rich in historical facts, but it's still very interesting. So we'll have a wee look round the other side, see what we can see there. Wind's fairly getting up. So I hope you're liking this, guys. This is quite the place. Just think of all the people working here back in the day. the hours they must have put in. Not to mention the age of some of the workers. They would have been very young and on very low wages. You can actually still see a bit of the timber frame at the top of that door there. Like I've said before, that's the kind of thing I like to see. It's just me subtle reminders of what once was keeps the place alive. I love all that growth up the masonry. It's great how nature just takes back over. So this would have been the driving force of the mill back in the day. All the machinery in there powered by water. Absolutely fascinating how people in the past came up with these ideas. It's all the kind of stuff we just take for granted these days. But I like to remind myself that there was a time when even those techniques and inventions weren't there. You can imagine how gobsmacked people would have been when they first saw you know, these huge machines working, powered by water or steam engines. But they've been quite the sight for them. Well guys, I do hope you enjoyed that. And, until next time, this is Jericho signing off. <laughs>